Guys, do you know that only 4500 non-engineers are able to score above 90 percentile in CAT exam? Yes, we are not talking about 99 percentile, we are just talking about 90 percentile. And out of this 4500 non-engineers, only 2300 non-engineers are actually able to clear the sectional cutoffs for the top B school, which is about 80 percentile in each section. Yes, so in case if you are pressurizing yourself by constantly thinking about that 95 or 99 percentile, this video is going to be like a wake-up call. So please watch this video till the end to get the useful insights and information about uh, the CAT takers in terms of the performance of engineers and non-engineers. Uh, this will definitely help you setting the right targets for yourself. Also check the description of this video where you will find a link for 10 free mock tests and uh, you will also find more than 100 videos on quantitative aptitude and logical listening and data interpretation. These are completely free. Apart from that, I had released one more video where I had given you information about the CAT takers having more than 80% and 90% in both 10th and 12th. So that link has also been provided in the description. Do check this video. I, along with my team, could access the complete information of all the students in last two years who have appeared for CAT exam. We analyzed this information. We did some detailed number crunching to come up with this useful information for all of you. So let's begin and look at that. So we already know how many students register for CAT exam and how many actually appear for CAT exam. In fact, I have displayed the same data once again, which I had shown in my previous video. The link for that has been provided in the description. In this chart, so, uh, the bottom figures indicates the number of candidates having, uh, you know, above 90 and above 18, 10th and 12th. Now let's understand how many of the total CAT takers are male and female because many colleges give extra points to female candidate. And once you uh, look at these numbers that I have displayed on the screen, you will realize that why they give these extra points to the female candidate. So as you can see on your screen, uh, the female candidates are almost half the male candidate. So let's bifurcate these males and females based on their educational background. So as you can see on your screen, the total engineers are almost 50% in terms of numbers out of 1,91,000 uh, CAT takers, almost 96,500 are engineers. And out of this 96,500 engineers, the male engineers are 72,000. And that is the reason why you have seen that most of the general engineer male are worried about their GEM tech. But don't worry, every cloud has a silver lining. So I'll share some uh, really interesting sets in the uh, next few slides and uh, you will not be worried much about that afterwards. Also, don't forget that 50% uh, are non-engineers. So the competition for engineers and non-engineers are almost same. Get 20% off using code char 20 on the plus and iconic subscription. It's a limited period offer. Hi guys, please participate in the upcoming All India free mock test. Now let's see how many of these candidates are actually able to clear the overall cutoffs and sectional cutoffs for top B schools. As you know that in CAT exam, top 1% of the candidates are able to get 99 plus percentile. So out of 1,91,000 candidates, almost 1,910 candidates would be getting around 99 plus percentile. So as displayed on your screen, out of this 1,900 candidates, uh, about 1,610 are uh, engineers and remaining are non-engineers. Now let's understand how many of this 1,910 candidates that is top 1 percentile, that is those who have got 99 plus percentile, are actually able to clear the sectional cutoff. And you'll be surprised to see that almost 200 candidates are missing out on the sectional cutoff. Even after scoring, um, you know, 99 plus percentile in CAT exam, almost 200 candidates are not able to score uh, more than 80 percentile in at least one section and they miss out on the top B school criteria. So this is where you need to be cautious that if you are scoring 99 uh, plus percentile, make sure that you are uh, uh, distributing your efforts and you are clearing sectional cutoff for each B school. Similarly, on your screen, I have displayed data about the number of candidates scoring above 90 percentile in CAT exam along with, uh, you know, scoring above 80 percentile in each section. And uh, as you can see, only 4500 non-engineers are able to score above 90 percentile in CAT exam. Yes, that's correct out of uh, almost 50% of the non-engineers. 
right? Uh, only 4500 are able to score above 90 percentile in CAT exam, and out of them, only 2300 are able to clear the sectional cutoffs of top B school, which we are considering as 80 percentile. So uh, this is what I wanted to tell you that uh, what you should be more worried about about scoring 99 percentile or about uh, about scoring just 90 plus percentile. Yes. So your guess is correct. Of course, uh, you can also mention your thoughts in the chat box. But my suggestion is that first think about uh, how to score above 90 percentile. Set your target as 90 percentile because the data are in front of you. Here is the wake up call for all the non engineers. It's OK if you are not able to score above 99 percentile. Even if you are able to score above 90 percentile, trust me, you will open up plenty of good B schools options for yourself, assuming that you have performed equally well in all the sections. So I hope you would have enjoyed this video. You would have found it useful. Please uh, don't forget to hit the like button and please share it with all your friends and check the description as I mentioned at the beginning. Stay tuned.